Welcome to the PR Maven podcast, a podcast all about growing your network and building your brand through traditional and digital networking techniques. I'm Nancy Marshall, the PR Maven and CEO of Marshall Communications. Stay tuned for this week's episode and thanks for listening. Welcome PR Maven Nation to this week's episode, one of our mini episodes, a quick and informative look at why you need a strong network to be a successful entrepreneur. I'm Nancy Marshall, the PR Maven. I have been working in PR throughout my long career and I have a special interest in personal branding. It's what makes you stand out from others who do the same thing you do and attracts people who need what you have to offer. I'm a keynote speaker, an author, and a columnist for the Forbes Agency Council and Main Biz. My audiences have said that helping them think about their superpower has changed the way they think about their careers and their lives. I hope you like this episode, and I hope you'll share it with people who might be interested in hearing it. This week, I will be sharing one of my recent main biz columns. To be a successful entrepreneur, you need a strong network, and here's why. So let's dive right in. I've run a public relations agency for more than three decades, so entrepreneurship runs in my blood. It's honestly difficult to fathom my life before when I worked in a traditional job and reported to a boss. (laughs) Honestly, I was not cut out to be an employee and my boss told me so. (laughs) I was born to run my own business. These days, headlines like how to be an entrepreneur are dime a dozen. It seems like everyone has secret tips and pieces of advice for those looking to be entrepreneurial, even if it means thinking outside the box and excelling at a nine to five job. While there is no silver bullet, one thing is clear. Entrepreneurs take pride in building a strong network, which leads to a strong personal brand. Without networking, it is virtually impossible to be a successful entrepreneur or to find success in business more generally. A strong network and the strong personal brand that it creates is like a magnet attracting the right people to your orbit and leaving out the wrong ones. Humans are social beings. And if you know me, you know that I am more social than most, but still all of us are born to be social. So how do you network? Invite people to coffee, grab a drink after work, connect with people on social media platforms such as LinkedIn by leveraging blog posts, comments, and direct messages. Leave your business card at happy hours and other social gatherings. Attend events with people who have similar interests and hobbies, even outside of work. And this is one of my key tools, is to write handwritten notes to people you meet along the way. I advocate for both in-person and digital networking. So I think if you meet somebody in real life, you need to connect online to extend the relationship. And if you meet online, you need to endeavor to meet in person to deepen the relationship. Whatever your networking tactic of choice, you can never lose sight of its broader importance. We are social beings and connecting with people on a human level is associated with numerous health benefits. It is a boost to mind, body, and spirit. Networking leads to growth. The bonds formed via networking can add tangible value in the present and the future. In my world, networking directly leads to client referrals, new prospects, and more profits. By servicing clients properly, it is common for them to recommend my agency to other people in their networks, and business naturally grows that way. By leveraging such referrals, making new connections, and eventually getting people to know, like, and trust me, business begins to boom. 
one contact leads to another, which leads to another. Public relations, like so many other industries, is really just a people business. You can't grow your business if you don't get people to know, like, and trust you. You can't just lurk in the shadows, or you just end up losing out on potential business opportunities. Networking opens you up to those opportunities, whether it is today, six months from now, or even later than that. It's fun. By investing time and effort into networking, your social skills become part of your personal brand. People begin to value your people skills in addition to the hard products and services that you can deliver as an entrepreneur or an employee. When your brand becomes networker or connector, or as I read in a recent book about relationships, an illuminator, which I think I am, people naturally gravitate toward you because they want to be in on the action. Fostering valuable relationships, personally or professionally, is fun after all, because we are such social beings. Human beings are hardwired to create meaningful connections, especially after the COVID-19 pandemic put networking on pause in certain ways. I network because it's fun too. While many of my current clients came about through various forms of networking, increasing business revenue and keeping my employees happy, it is also enjoyable to meet new people and share common experiences. Fun brings more fun. It also leads to unexpected opportunities. You also begin to expect the unexpected the larger your network is. A potential client could actually become a close friend. A new prospect could turn out to be a new business partner. Who knows what began with networking could even lead to dating or something more. The point is that you never truly know where networking will take you. And that's the beauty of it. You appreciate riding the roller coaster of life. At the same time, networking with others gives you a sense of the people who aren't very beneficial to you. You realize you can actually know, like, and trust yourself. And let's face it, there are plenty of people who are not trustworthy. Networking brings valuable life experience, which can be applied to a wide range of pursuits. Knowing what not to do based on people who don't handle themselves well around you is valuable in its own right. Your network is your net worth. So whether you want to be an entrepreneur or just excel as an employee, my number one recommendation is to network, network, and network some more. Your network truly is your net worth. It's not just a cliche. I make money because I network, just like I make new friends and acquaintances, and that makes life worth it in the end beyond business. I would not be successful without networking, and I have not met a single successful person who doesn't network at least a tiny bit. Don't hide in the shadows. Share yourself with the world so people can know, like, and trust you too. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget, as a listener of the PR Maven podcast, you can get the first chapter of my book, Grow Your Audience, Grow Your Brand for free. Just visit prmaven.com slash giveaway and sign up for our email list to receive the first chapter. Now here are Lori Doobie and Tyler Gaudette to share how Grow Your Audience, Grow Your Brand has helped Sprague and Curtis Real Estate. Sprague and Curtis is a locally owned real estate company. We're primarily focused in central Maine. Uh, I got excited about Nancy's book because she's so well known in the area for her marketing and branding techniques and uh, we're always looking to expand and learn and grow and um, so a lot of us here at the office decided that we wanted to uh, read her book and learn some new techniques. It benefits Sprague and Curtis to have a large brand and audience um, because there can often be uh, multiple years between transactions with clients, um, so it's important to network them with them and, and stay in touch with them in those in-between periods. And this book really helped us uh, learn some techniques and methods to, to continue to do that. We organized a small book group with Nancy's book uh, with brokers in our office this winter to 
share information and remind ourselves how important it is to always be working on our network and continually reaching out to our customers. Platforms like social media are important in expanding your business, but equally as important are handwritten notes, cards, letters. She inspired me to send her a note of appreciation, just thanking her for the book and her insight. In reading Nancy's book, I was excited to look to continue to grow our brand and our audience. I think she does a great job of um, motivating us. Nancy's book really helped me learn a few things in marketing and branding and how important it is to stay on top of reaching out to clients periodically, staying top of mind, providing useful information, and, and really telling our story as a company. Thanks for listening to this episode of the PR Maven podcast. I invite you to share a review of the podcast on iTunes or your favorite podcast player. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast so you never miss an episode. You can also join the PR Maven Nation on Facebook. It's free to join and it's a great community of like-minded individuals who are all looking to learn and grow from one another. If you use an Alexa device, use your Alexa app to search the skills and games section to find and enable the PR Maven podcast flash briefing. This will give you access to exclusive content and more PR and marketing advice. Thanks again for listening and have a great rest of your week, PR Maven Nation.